Welcome to Basic Tutors channel Coral Dot Tutorials. In this tutorial we are going to see how to create a logo design for a motor company. Let's start with click on the ellipse tool, draw an ellipse, center to the page and then click on the rectangle tool, draw a rectangle like this. Unclick the edit corners together and then give a value for top left corner 7 mm and then for top right also 7 mm. So you may get a shape like this. Align to this ellipse center and then bring it to bring it to the top manually move it manually move and keep like this in order to place eight object around the circle you need to do some transformation over here for that click on the transformation tool and then select rotate for getting eight objects you need to you need to give a value for rotation 45 degree before that you need to place this anchor point to the center of this ellipse see this is a this is a placement x and y axis of the anchor anchor point so i copy this value and give it give it to this for the rectangle same thing i did for y axis also now see the anchor point is placed in, in the ellipse I gave the value 45 degree already and then number of copies to 7 because already one object is there so now click I apply so now we are getting the shape now select all the object together and click on this weld tool see fill it with the black color draw one more ellipse here and center it over the already created shape by clicking E and C on the keyboard give you outline by right click over the color tool and then for uh, outline thickness now I'm going to give some value say about 1.5 still more thickness is needed so I am giving 2, uh, two point as a value and more and then one more duplicate I made and then I created a rectangle over here make it center by clicking E and C on the keyboard now select both the object and click this trim tool so it, it was already trimmed now click on the break apart tool so these objects now became two discrete objects now shape like this, I add anchor point over here and then no, one more point and then delete this anchor point so it will look like a curve, do it for this also, same apply to bottom object also, 
now get a shape like this no idea ellipse like this give it a color i am going to align by pressing e key for vertical center in order to cut the circle i am clicking both the objects and then click on the intersect tool so i am getting now i am getting a shape like this add one more ellipse over there and fill it with the black color now select both the objects and make it duplicate by pressing control d and then flip it mirror it horizontally and place it over here so now we are having a shape like this now I'm, now i am going to add some text for this i am going to choose font great likes fill it with white color enlarge it and place it over here few more text for this now i am going to select a font wisdom script links for this fonts are given in description column so please check it over here few more text here fill this with white color for this text i am going to give the font as level of black i need to place this text along the curve so i am duplicating one more curve and then click both the things and then choose text and fit to part so you can see the same thing will be repeated over for bottom also so i am duplicating now reverse the thing So now text part is over. Now break this curve by clicking on the object menu and choose break text apart. Now the curve was 
separator so you can freely delete this object object menu break text apart click on the curve select delete now add some logo over here already i created some tool like object here duplicate this object and flip it vertically so i am getting a logo like this now now i am adding some outline by pressing control f12 sorry f12 this is how we created this logo this logo is now completed please don't forget to subscribe this channel if you really like this video please click on the like button thank you for watching